So this is the evaporator from, I think it was a five ton uh, commercial Toshiba carrier VFR unit that was leaking downstairs. There was, I think, four, five, six, five or six air handlers downstairs. This was the one. So we finished repairing it and we also gave it a epoxy coating. There's two coats of Modine. Um, what's the name of that stuff? Uh, heat, heat exchanger, you know, coating on here. And this will protect the copper from the air and any chemical exposure. You know how you always get, many times you get leaks right on these bins and where the copper's exposed because of chemicals that are used inside some facilities or even uh, your housewife is cleaning with everything with uh, like Windex that has ammonia in it. Uh, chlorine compounds attack copper. So you often see that the leaks will form right, right at the groove, right where the copper touches the header plate right here. The header plate is made out of steel that has zinc galvanized coating on it. And when the galvanized coating does its job after a while and gives up its life, you're just left with steel. Now you don't have no galvanized coating at that junction. It gets wet and any conductive chemicals that are in the air from cleaning solvents or anything and salts will gather at that joint, become a electrolyte and cause a galvanic action between the two different metals. And because the galvanized plating on there is cheap electroplate, it's not old fashioned hot dip galvanized, it starts corroding right there. And that's where we always get these leaks right at these joints. So after I cleaned it thoroughly and coated it, I made sure I had extra layers on this part and right down at the junction, I actually sprayed immediately in the junction, just dousing it just at this point, right in here on top of the plate. So it now is not, it's encapsulated. It has no exposure to moisture. It has no exposure to any kind of chemicals in the atmosphere, it is sealed. So you can no longer have that galvanic action where it started rusting and the galvanize has worn away because the galvanize was doing its job. But on all these coils that are manufactured, they're manufactured with cheap galvanize that's usually electroplating, super thin, basically worthless after a couple of years. And so they don't do their job. And that's why you get leaks at those points right where it meets. All right, guys, I'll see you later.